Greetings everybody. Welcome back to my kitchen. You're always welcome here. And I have a great entree recipe using, of course, my Philadelphia cream cheese and pork chops. The first thing I'm doing for this recipe is cooking my six slices of bacon. And this is the Oscar Mayer natural hardwood smoked bacon. And these slices are beautiful. And we love bacon in this house. Everyone loves bacon. And we've got to have enough of it always in our home. And they're getting done well. And when these are done, we're going to chop them up to put them in this recipe. I've got my six slices of bacon cooked and crispy. And they're ready for my recipe. Now I have three. I've cleaned these three Granny Smith apples that I'm going to be using in this recipe. And I'm going to peel these and slice them, thinly slice these apples to put in the recipe. And I love Granny Smith apples for baking too. They are so good. And this is perfect with my pork chop recipe. So. This is definitely a welcome home recipe, I call it, because it is a comfort dish. And every day my sons come in the house from school and they'll say, what's for dinner? And sometimes I get an honest, oh, that's great, or I get a, uh, so it depends. But with this recipe, they always say this is delicious and they look forward to it. So, and I've got my apple, my first apple, ready to be cut. And we're just going to slice it my cutting board. Okay, there we go. And we're just going to thinly slice the apple. Preheated my oven to 350 degrees, and I've also taken my 9 by 13 baking pan and sprayed it with some cooking spray. Even though we're going to be using butter in this recipe, um, I'm sprayed it with cooking spray. And now we're taking six slices of bacon, and we're going to chop these up into pieces to add to the recipe. I've got my bacon all cut up into pieces and we're going to add this to our Granny Smith apples that are thinly sliced. And the next thing we're going to do is add five tablespoons of butter, melted butter. There we go. And I'm going to add three tablespoons of brown sugar for this recipe. And we're going to add a half a cup of chopped onion in our mix. We've got the onions and bacon and apple slices and brown sugar and melted butter together. And I'm just stirring this together. Now I'm going to put all the apples and bacon mixture right into the bottom of this 9 by 13 pan. We're going to put it down evenly. You want to spread it out evenly in here so your slices are even. I've got my apple mixture all in the pan and ready for our next step in the recipe and that's our pork chops. Now I have my six beautiful boneless pork chops ready to put right into this dish. I've got my six ounces of Philadelphia cream cheese ready in this bowl. And I'm going to add my cream of onion soup to this. One can. I'm going to add a half a teaspoon of salt and pepper and 
I'm going to add a quarter cup of milk. And I'm whisking all these ingredients together and then we're going to spoon it over the pork chop and apple mixture. Now I'm going to spoon over the cream cheese mixture. I'll pour some of this and then I'll spread it with my spoon. So good, so creamy. I've got my cream cheese sauce on the pork chops now and these are ready to go in the oven at 350 degrees for 40 minutes and I can't wait till they're done. The pork chops are all set and ready and wow, they look delicious. Nice and hot with that cream cheese sauce and the apples and bacon. I've got my spring plates. They're nice and floury out today. I'm going to take a spoon and we're going to get some more of this wonderful cream cheese sauce to put on here. All right. I'm going to try a piece of these pork chops right now with this wonderful cream cheese sauce and the bacon and the apples. Mmm. Delicious. Really, really good. What better way to welcome your family home than to make a wonderful comfort dish that they'll all love. Mmm. They're going to love this. Thank you again, friends, for coming into my home and letting me share another recipe with you. Thank you also to Kraft and Miss Paula Dean. Take care.